No Bake Chocolate Raspberry Cheesecake. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for Yo Yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. In a medium sized bowl, you're going to place two cups of chocolate wafer crumbs, one half cup of butter that's been melted, and one third of a cup of sugar. Now I used Oreo cookie crumbs for this, but you can just use any old plain chocolate cookie crushed up until you get two cups worth of crumbs. Stir that all together and you're going to press it into the bottom of a nine inch greased springform pan. Now what I do with my springform pan is I cover the bottom plate where the corrugations are with some plastic wrap and I find that my cheesecake will release a lot easier when I'm trying to serve it. So press those crumbs about halfway up the sides of your springform pan and set that aside. Now in a small bowl, place three quarters of a cup of cold water and sprinkle over top of that one envelope or seven grams or a quarter ounce of unflavored gelatin. Allow it to sit for about a minute and then put it in the microwave for about 35, 45 seconds and give it a stir and the gelatin should dissolve and then allow that to cool. Meanwhile, in a large bowl, place two cups of heavy whipping cream and beat this with an electric mixer or by hand until you get some stiff peaks. Just be sure that you don't beat this too much because you will end up with a big bowl of butter. Then prepare your stand mixer with a paddle attachment and then you're inside of that you're going to place 19 ounces of cream cheese. That's two eight ounce packages and three ounces of another package. Add to that one third of a cup of white granulated sugar and then add that slightly cooled gelatin mixture and stir that together until it's nice and smooth and that there are no more lumps. Now I transferred this into a measuring cup because I wanted to see how much it made. It makes about four cups. So then transfer two cups of that or half of that cream cheese mixture into a bowl and then add half of the whipped cream to it. Then pour in four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate that's been melted and cooled. I use semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then gently but thoroughly fold in those ingredients until well combined. Then pour the chocolate mixture on top of the crumb base and spread it around. And what you're left with is half of the cream cheese mixture and half of that whipped cream. Combine those things together by gently folding and then add one cup of fresh or frozen raspberries. I used fresh and just gently stir those in and then pour that white mixture with the raspberries on top of the chocolate mixture. Put this in the refrigerator and allow it to sit for at least six hours or overnight and I covered mine with plastic wrap while it was in the fridge. This is the next day, I let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. The original recipe says that you should run a knife around the outside edge, but when I took a look at mine, it looked like it had detached on its own anyway. So when I released the springform pan, it separated quite nicely and I didn't have any issues. And there it is to slice it, I used a knife, a sharp knife and I wipe the knife off in between cuts to get a nice clean edges. You can garnish the entire cheesecake or just individual slices with some fresh raspberries and mint leaves if you like. It looks spectacular, it tastes great, it's nice and light and it is not overly super sweet. As a matter of fact, I even served this with some raspberry sauce on the side, just I was worried that maybe it wasn't sweet enough for some of the super sweet tooths that I have in my family. Everyone loved it. I will definitely make this again. It takes a little bit of effort and a lot of chilling time, but it is well worth it. Very impressive. No one will know how easy it was to make. People will often ask me what my favorite d dessert is, and it is cheesecake. I absolutely love cheesecake, especially cheesecake and chocolate together in one recipe. I have several cheesecakes on my channel. I've put them all together in a playlist. So if you want to go check them out, be sure to click right on your screen or see the link in the about section below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.